Perro, start digging. Okay. If, like us, you're a major fan of Puss in Boots The Last Wish, can I get your autograph? You're gonna want to hear about the movie's biggest secrets. Yes! Things that you might not have picked up on, like a joke about Cat's Nine Lives while Puss is sulking in a bar, or the fact that the movie has a surprisingly high body count for a children's story. There is a lot there, including some possible Shrek 5 info if you look hard enough. Number 1. Besides watching Puss in Boots' eight deaths, there's also an interesting moment that foreshadows his ninth. When the wolf tells Puss his true identity, the story's hero is drinking out of a cup, with eight empty cups on the table. This symbolizes the fact that Puss is on his ninth life, and the wolf is here to take his final one away from him. Number 2. Sure, they say cats have nine lives, but while this whole film is based on a joke about cats, one quick moment in Puss in Boots' The Last Wish was based on a fact about cats that you probably didn't know. When he's getting his temperature taken, Puss tells the doctor that he runs hot. The joke here is that he actually does, in comparison to humans, that is. The normal body temperature of cats falls somewhere between 99.5 to 102.5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is definitely a fever for us humans. Number 3. Puss in Boots may run run hotter than humans, but he apparently can't outrun a dog. In a flashback to Puss in Boots losing one of his lives, it happens because he cheats in a game of poker against dogs. This scene is, of course, a joke based on Cassius Marcellus Coolidge's famous dogs playing poker painting. Number 4. Speaking of yikes, let's talk about death, baby. It's pretty surprising when the wolf reveals that he is actually literally deaf, but you may not have been so surprised if you were able to catch all the subtle signs. First of all, the wolf wears a black hood and carries a sickle, and while it may have seemed like this was just because he was creepy, in retrospect, it's clearly Grim Reaper inspired. There's also, of course, the skull-shaped patch he has on his face. In fact, skulls often show up around the wolf in various ways before he announces his true identity. Did you notice that on the title cards for each of Puss's eight deaths, the wolf appears in the border of the screen? There are also some more complex hints, like when the wolf puts coins over his eyes. This was done at funerals in ancient Greece. Lastly, at the bar, when Puss declares that he laughs in the face of death, the wolf scratches the bar in anger. Sounds like the idea of Puss in Boots making fun of death hit a little close to home for the wolf. Strange? Wonder why? Alright, it's because he is death. Number 5. While death is a character in this film, it's also a surprisingly relentless force. The Puss in Boots franchise is, of course, a family-friendly film, and we don't typically see so many characters lose their lives in a PG movie. The creators of Puss in Boots The Last Wish, however, clearly laugh in the face of not including death in their movie. There are 23 moments in the film where a character meets their maker, which is pretty high. Of course, that's including the eight times we see Puss in Boots lose his life. Number 6. Did you catch Pinocchio's cameo? Folks are fleeing from Big Jack Horner's performance to see a one-man puppet show by none other than Pinocchio himself. This is surely meant to be one of the performances that Pinocchio does in his own story, which may mean that these two films overlap on the timeline. Number 7. So how does the film overlap with Shrek on the timeline? Well, we may be able to tell by one particular cameo. The Wicked Witch makes a sneaky appearance in the movie that leaves us questioning how this may be related to her role in the Shrek franchise. The Wicked Witch is in the waiting room when Puss in Boots is leaving the doctor's office. Number 8. This brings us to an important question. What is going to happen in the rest of the Shrek franchise? Puss in Boots The Last Wish may have given us some hints. The flashbacks to one of Puss in Boots' deaths involves Gingy. Does this mean that Puss Puss in Boots The Last Wish happens after the next movie in the Shrek franchise? It's certainly possible, but we just hope nothing bad happens to everyone's favorite gingerbread man. Number 9. While we don't have a release date, it's been confirmed that Shrek 5 is coming. It would be interesting if the next installment in the Shrek franchise were to coincide with the story that's being told in Puss in Boots. And we have reason to believe that this may happen, and the reason why lies in the final moment in Puss in Boots The Last Wish. At the end of the movie, they're headed to Far Far Away, which may mean Shrek 5 will pick up where this movie left off. Needless to say, we're pretty excited about that possibility. Number 10. Who doesn't love Jimmy Stewart? Well, apparently no one. And that includes the minds behind Puss in Boots The Last Wish. In the film, the ethical bug is basically the angel on Jack Horner's shoulder. The ethical bug was the first acting credit for Kevin McCann, who is actually a DreamWorks production supervisor. Yet, even though you haven't heard Kevin McCann as the voice of a character before, there's a good chance that you recognized his voice. Oh my word, it's the noble 
Phoenix. McCain clearly modeled the ethical bug's voice after actor Jimmy Stewart. Well, well, what do you mean? Nobody's trying to steal anybody's girl. And this choice has many layers. First, it's a nod to the name of another guidance-giving insect, Jiminy Cricket in Disney's Pinocchio. While this may be the obvious symbolic reason for a Jimmy Stewart-inspired bug, the other reason has to do with a beloved holiday movie. Just like Jack Horner, Jimmy Stewart's classic character George Bailey also has a guardian angel in the film It's a Wonderful Life. And now, from a man with a guardian bug to the little girl with bears for parents. Number 11. Did you catch the little details which prove that Goldilocks was in fact raised by bears? First, the oversized space buns that Goldilocks always styles her hair into are kind of reminiscent of bear ears. It certainly makes her fit in more with her furry family than a ponytail would. Besides the ears, Goldilocks has quite a few other things that make her fit in perfectly with her family. Her blue eyes and necklace look like her brother's, and her mismatched earrings are like her mom's. She also ends up with two scars above her left eye, which matches with Papa Bear's missing left eye. Whether she realizes it or not, it's easy to see that Goldilocks fits in with her bear family. And there's actually a hidden message that proves it. Number 12. Goldilocks wants to find out where her true family is. Is, but the truth is right in front of her all along. You just have to be an expert at cracking codes to notice it. To find the location of her true family, you need to look at the first letter of each line in the fairy tale she loves. The secret message spells, you already have it. That's pretty cute stuff. She's not my sister. She's a fugitive orphan. Ow! She's your sister. Luckily, unlike Goldie, you don't need to crack a code to know where you belong. We'll just tell you. You should be joining our animation-loving family by liking and subscribing to the things animated for lots more videos like this one. From one thing that's so magical it's hard to believe it exists to another. Number 13. We're talking about hornless unicorns. In this case, though, it's not actually horses. It's unicorns that have been dehorned. When Big Jack Horner is getting his baker's dozen together, the horses that are seen pulling their carriage are actually unicorns that have had their horns cut off. Yikes. Number 14. Did you catch the unexpected X-Men crossover? The Last Wish has a definite parallel with The Last Stand. Both of these films are about two heroic characters who manage to cheat death plenty of times. We're talking about Puss in Boots and Wolverine, of course. Both heroes embark on a western road trip after growing some impressive facial hair with their pals by their sides. If those weren't enough similarities, both characters have to come to terms with their own mortality in the end when they engage in a battle with a tough opponent. We know we're not alone in wanting to see these two team up. It's double the claws. Number 15. No one could have expected a crossover between Puss in Boots The Last Wish and X-Men The Last Stand. But there's a parallel to a movie that might be even weirder. Puss in Boots The Last Wish includes a surprise reference to a very well-known and frequently memed moment in The Wicker Man. Not a bees! Not the bees! This choice is made all the more interesting by the fact that Nicolas Cage actually originally turned down the role of Shrek. Could this be a cheeky nod to what was surely a big mistake on Nicolas Cage's part? Which Puss in Boots The Last Wish secret surprised you the most? Let us know what you think in the comments, and for more videos like this one, make sure you like and subscribe to The Things Animated for plenty more videos about your animated favorites.